Hey, it's Brendan from Artismia, and today we're gonna build our own table easel out of cardboard, glue, and a pencil. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me today. In a previous video, I had talked about and demonstrated the use of a table easel. It was brought to my attention that it would be pretty cool to see a how-to video about making your very own table easel. So for this video, I wanted to make the least expensive and cheapest version I could think of. So I went on the search for some rigid cardboard. There are four basic parts to this type of table easel. The two front legs, a rear support leg, and a front cross bar. Up first, we'll make the two front legs. Okay, right now I'm cutting the cardboard down to a more manageable size of about 22 inches using a yardstick and a homemade hacksaw blade. I'll be using hot glue for this project because of how fast it sets. I am now measuring and preparing to cut two strips of cardboard approximately 2.5 by 22 inches. Using the yardstick as a straight edge, I hold it firmly and carefully run the blade against it to cut a straight line. Now obviously if you don't have a knife, you can always use a pair of scissors. Measuring one and a quarter inches or half of two and a half, I find the center of both strips of cardboard. I carefully cut only the top side of the cardboard, making certain not to pierce the opposite side so that it stays connected. Here again, if you don't have a knife, you can always use a pair of scissors. Just be careful not to cut both sides of the cardboard. From each end, I measure one and a quarter inches and cut a small slit in the middle up to that line. This will create foldable tabs. Folding the tabs over themselves will reinforce the ends. To provide additional strength and reinforcement, I am cutting a bunch of one and a quarter inch squares which will then be cut into triangles. These triangles are glued into the fold of the legs. You can add as many as you think it needs. I only use seven for each leg. Now, if you're lucky enough, you might be able to find some boxes that have rigid corner supports like these. These are already pre-made and pretty solid. They'd work great for making your own table easel if you could find three of them like this one. Next, we're gonna make the rear support leg. From another piece of cardboard that's already cut to 22 inches in length, I measure and mark five one inch segments. Carefully using the straight edge and blade, I cut through only the top layer of cardboard for each segment. This will allow us to create a square tube that is approximately 1 inch by 22 inches in length. I then make 1 inch tabs on each end. It is important to make this tube the same length as the other two legs you constructed previously. And now let's make the front crossbar. From another piece of cardboard, I measure and mark a five inch by 16 inch rectangle. Just like the previously created tube, I measure one inch segments. Each segment will be carefully cut, making sure not to cut all the way through. On each end, cut foldable tabs. When gluing this tube, you want to make certain to offset the front edge leaving a slight overhang. This offset overhanging edge will act as a holder for whatever you place on your easel. Be sure to add additional glue to reinforce the overhanging edge. You may find that it is easier to create a square tube and then attach a separate strip of cardboard that is wider. This wider piece can then be used as the overhanging edge holder. 
Now that we've constructed all the pieces, let's put it together. Measure approximately one inch from one end of the rear support leg. Make an identifiable mark on the opposite side. Now measure one half of an inch from the side of the same end to find the center width. You can see here I have marked it with a plus. I now take a sharp tool and make a hole in both sides so that I can force a pencil or a screwdriver through it. Here I line up the two front legs and measure to find the center and repeat the process. I then force the pencil through all three legs and prepare to glue the crossbar in place. I make certain that the front offset edge is facing forward and mark the legs so I know where to glue it. Now remember, you only want to glue the two front legs to the crossbar, not the center support leg. In order to add a slip resistant foot to the bottom of each leg, I chose to use a glob of hot glue. Here I placed the glue directly to the foot and then had to hold it in place until it dried. It was much easier to put a few globs of glue on a separate piece of cardboard and let it sit and dry before gluing them into place. You want to make certain that you place the glue blob onto the foot where it will make contact with the table. Okay, another thing that you could do to help stabilize this or make it more stable would be to use some string. Take a long enough piece that you can wrap it around all three legs. So make sure you get a long enough piece of string. You could just tie a loop at the end of it here. Put the leg through that there, wrap it around this leg, wrap it around this leg, and then bring it back here and just do a, a temporary tie around this leg. That way it doesn't fall over. And when I, when I put the string on the end deck here, I would not uh, recommend you going all the way too tight with it, but just tight enough that it holds. That way the entire thing doesn't fall over, especially when you go and put something on top of it. In the previous video, we used a piece of glass. Put that piece of glass on here, it makes it more stable. Well, it looks like that's going to be it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below because I do look forward to hearing from you. If you want to see how to make your own wooden tabletop easel, you can check out that video. The link will be in the description or at the end of the video or one of those little tabs you can click on. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.